starting our practice in a nice, comfortable seated position. Welcoming yourself onto the mat by taking a few deep breaths, letting it out. Taking a little time to focus on the breath. In yoga, everything begins and ends with breath. Notice what the breath quality is like today. Give yourself a little extra time to let the busyness fade away. Soften, gripping in the body. Soften, gripping of your thoughts. Soften any hardness that's going on in the inside. Let that go. Relax a little bit here in your comfortable seated position. Reminding yourself that right now your intention is to practice yoga. Focusing on hip openers today. So here in seated, see if you can soften into the hips a little more. Sink down into your seat, not feeling the need to sit up quite so tall. Find a little easier quality here. Start with a little twist to the right. Give yourself a little ring out, no big deal. So staying relaxed in the seat, just ringing out through the mid and upper spine. Still doing the mental yoga, trying to focus on the breath. And then really slowly unwind yourself and take things in the other direction. Give a ring out. A few soft, easy breaths here. Slowly unwind. Take the arms out and up. Stretch up, maybe a little back. Still trying to keep the, keep the hips, the seat soft as you arch the spine. And release the arms down. Simply roll the shoulders back and down a few times. If your legs are crossed, now's a nice time to switch out the cross of the legs. Okay, let's give the shoulders some attention. So really simply, take your right arm, cross it over the front of the body, and then grab the arm, pull it over as you look in the opposite direction. Deep pulsing breath. Let's gently switch and do the other side. Reach the other arm over, grab it, pull over, stretch as you look in the opposite direction that you're reaching. Deep breaths. Super slow release. Take both arms out wide into wings. Squeeze into the back. Open the chest. Deep breath. A little arch to the back might feel nice. And release the arms. You know, simple. Roll the shoulders back and down a few times.
Let's take the twist again. Big inhale, arms out and up. Twisting right, maybe picking up where you left off from the first one. Spiny twist, it feels good in your body. Some place where you can breathe easily, but still feel some attention in the body. Deep breath. And take your time to unwind. Inhale the arms out and up, lift up. And twist the other way. Feeling it out on the side. A few deep breaths. Take your time. With an inhale, unwind yourself. One more time, out and up with the arms, gently back. Child's pose from here. Nice grounding, earthy pose. Starting to squeeze into the hips. So, of course, make this work for your body. Don't feel like you have to cram yourself into a shape. Maybe sit on a block between your heels. Maybe grab a rolled up blanket, take it in the crease of the knees. Knees could be wide or together, but finding a child's pose or an earthy position that works for you. If you just can't get the child's pose to work, you can always take fetal pose, rolling to the side, or lay on your stomach. Take a few deep centering breaths here. Focusing on the hips, softening the crease, letting them sink down to the earth. Yeah, this is where your mind is trying to draw you to. And just gently come back to your mat. Right now, you are practicing yoga. Let that be enough. Here in your child's pose, stretch your arms out really nice and long in front of you. And then shift forward to downward facing puppy. So on the forearms here, shoulders over elbows, big archy back, walking the knees back, the hips higher, chest and chin lower. If you like, maybe getting all the way into the mat. If you're familiar with this pose, maybe you're ready to start stretching your tailbone out of your spine. Push down into the knees to bring the shoulders over the hips and around the back. Big archy spine, an angry cat back here. Scoop the tail, tuck the chin. <clears throat> and now crawling all the way up towards the top of your mat. Picking up the feet, <clears throat> move them around, wiggle them out. And then crossing at the ankles, rolling back past seated into a little knees to chest, face to knees. Big bear hug. Options here, you can balance behind the sits bones for a little more activity, start to tone the core. Or you can keep the feet on the floor, enjoying the back body stretch by seeing how much of your face you can tuck into your knees. It's all good. Set the pace of your practice for yourself. Lift your pelvis, pull your belly in. And then slowly unfurl and roll all the way down to the back. Grounding onto the knees. 
and circle your knees around in opposite directions. So open the knees out wide apart from one another, make nice big circles here, massaging into the hips and the low back by using your arm strength. Now reverse the direction of your big opposite circles. Okay, now give the knees a big deep squeeze to the chest. Let your tailbone roll up away from the mat. Maybe you want to tuck up into a ball here. Maybe you want to cross at your forearms, reaching for opposite ankles. Big deep squeeze. And then slowly release. Take the feet to the floor, knees bent. Bring the arms into cactus out by your sides. And let's start with some gentle knee rocks side to side. And I'll start taking the head in the opposite direction of the knees. Nice and slow. Let's attach the breath to this movement. So start waiting for the breath. As the inhale happens, knees and face come to center. As the exhale happens, knees drop, head rolls to the side. Breathing in, lift up. Breathing out to twist. A few more. If you want a little more movement in the hips, widen the feet apart. Hold. The next time you can get into the twist, pause, hold there for a few breaths, letting gravity deepen the shape for you. A couple more breaths, trying to melt that mental yoga of letting go. Take your time. Inhale to center. Exhale, twist the other way. A few deep breaths. Remember, when you drift far, far away from your mat, Gently come back, be kind to yourself, it will get easier that way. And you just inhale, bring the knees up, face up. Happy baby. So knees come into the armpits. I like to hook the elbows behind the knees. You're welcome to reach for the big toes maybe, but just keep the shoulders soft, not worth it. Knees to the sides of the body, try to soften the tension in the hip flexor, in the hip crease. See if you can relax there to that mental yoga. You might feel good holding this here, or you can rock side to side. Maybe you're going to play with straightening one leg than the other. Just take some motion in your body, whatever feels right to you, and this variation of happy baby. And drop the tailbone heavy. A couple deep breaths. And now taking the legs up in the air, bring them together, stretch them up. Hands can be behind the thighs. Maybe you want to use the strap here. It's all good. Just giving the legs up simply, moving the feet around, toes around. Maybe you're ready to start to encourage the legs towards you a little bit. Just try to keep the tailbone heavy to the floor as you do this. 
little flex in the feet, heels to the sky, toes to the shin, wherever you are. Take a deep breath. See if you can get your legs just a little straighter. Good, and release, feet to the floor, knees bent. Let's straighten just the right leg long into the mat. Bring the left knee into the chest. So right leg long or bent, works either way. Bring just the left knee into the chest. Give it a little motion here. Loosen up this hip before we move into the twist. This can be a little deep twist. So it's nice to kind of juice up the hip first. And then when you're ready, take the opposite hand, cross it over. Find a nice juicy twist for yourself here. A few deep breaths. Try to relax your shoulders, neck, and face. Use your hands, help your knee back to center. Hug the knees in and switch them out. All right, start here, move the knee around with the hands. Once you're ready, Use your opposite hand, cross over, ring out. Find a stretch that feels good on the side. Breathe into it. Take your time. Use your hand to bring it back up. Let's stretch everything out long. Arms by the ears, legs out long. Maybe the crunchy spine feels good as you wiggle and stretch. Here, slide the feet together for Baddha Konasana. Soles of the feet together, knees wide here. Or you could say up by the head, maybe triangle shape with the arms or let them come by the sides or onto the body, totally up to you. Big hip opener here. See how close you can walk your feet towards your body. Push them together with some intention and let the knees stretch to the sides of the room. I like a big archy back here that feels good to me. Of course, do what's right for you. Three or four breaths. Relax your face, your neck, your shoulders. Use your hands to help your legs back up. Do one more deep squeeze here on the back. From here, we're gonna come up to tabletop. So you can roll to the side. Maybe you're ready to kind of rock front to back, rock and roll it. And like we came into this, cross at the ankles, roll forward, tabletop. Nice sturdy tabletop once you get it. Take some spinal movement here. So that could be cat-cow, hip circle, side to side. Move to the spine in a way that feels good to you. And if you're ready, when you're ready, a little downward dog might feel nice. A few breaths working to lengthen the spine.
If your hands are on the floor, remember your forearms can be on the floor instead. But if the hands are on the floor, grip with the fingertips and push into the base of the thumb. Big deep breath. Let's come into a plank shape, however you want that to look. Shift it forward, shoulders over wrists, core engaged to lengthen the spine. And then take your time, lower to the ground. Once you get your your hips to shake out, we're going to set up for Bhujangasana or Cobra. So the hands are just kind of there for moral support. An upward facing dog, that's when we push with our hands. But the cobra of the hands are just kind of there superficially. Start by pushing the pelvis down. Ground your pubis, pubis bone into the floor. And then take a deep inhale. Squeeze the shoulders, the elbows to the back as you lift the heart forward. The pelvis wants to lift. Keep grounding it down, focusing on the upper spine. And then maybe the hands push a little bit. Five out of ten. Breathe. And release. Give the hips a shake out. You can release the arms wherever you like. Here on our stomachs, we're going to bend the knees, wave the feet a little side to side. If this feels okay, walk the knees wide. Soles of the feet together. So those bottom and asana legs like we were earlier. Feet together, knees wide. Kind of play with it. Slide the knees wide. Bring them together. Find a happy spot for your hips. And then with the soles of the feet sealed together like prayer hands, let the feet drop away from you until you find your boundary. Try to keep the feet sealed together. Notice if you're gripping in the low back, the hips, the pelvis, see if you can soften that. If you can't, back up a step, take a breath, and see where that leads you. One more deep breath. Slide the feet back towards your body and separate them. And we're gonna go the opposite direction, a little counter. So walk the knees together on the mat, bring the legs together, knees together, kind of wiggle side to side to get it. And then simply with gravity, let the feet drop to the sides of the room. Feeling the back of the pelvis open up. I like a little wiggle here, you can play with that. Be kind to your low back, especially if it's feeling sticky today. Bring the legs together and release them. I'm going to push back to child's pose here. You could take table or down dog if that's calling your name. Child's pose is kind of a big opposite stretch. A couple deep breaths in your version of down dog. So down dog, table, or child's pose. They're all pretty interchangeable. They help to lengthen the spine. Next, we're going to make our way to forward bend. So how are we like to get there? Hands out in front of the feet. Bending your knees, planting your toes to fold deeply. Try to get your body to drape onto your legs. Maybe grab onto the elbows, a little rectal. Strong feet and toes, we're gonna roll it up to standing. Take the arms out and up much from here. Big inhale. Thumbs back, lift the chest and look up. Nice vibrant fingers. Come back to center. Let's go elbows to kidneys, squeeze it down the back and together. Now bring the right arm behind the back as you take the left arm to the side. Side curve. Good, looking up might feel okay. 
Big deep breath, energize your fingers, stretch a little more energetically. And now bend through the top elbow, come back through cactus arms, squeeze it down. Other side, left arm behind the back, right arm stretches over, reaching, breathing deeply. Maybe look up. Extend past your fingers. Bend through the top elbow, come back to cactus, take it down the back one more time. And then inhale, sweep the arms to the sky. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, half lift, lean into the toes. Exhale, take the left leg back. Nice long step. No knees a block today for twists. Bearing weight in that front right foot, twist to the right. Make sure you don't have too much bend in the knee. Look up, really twist through the top hand. And then slowly release, take the hand to the mat for runner's lunge stretch. You're gonna drop the back knee down, shift the hips back, flip the toes to the shin, take a nice long bow over the leg. So stretching your body out long over the leg first, and then let it soften and round a little bit. The block is a nice prop here to rest on the shin, make a little forehead rest for it. That could feel good today. Take a couple breaths. Drive your right hip back, go deep into the socket. Take your time, shift it forward. I'm gonna grab both blocks for this. So we're gonna kind of go the other direction. Now, walk your right foot way far forward, coming into a super long stance. And we're gonna let the hips melt in. So there's still a soft bend in the knee, pushing down in the front foot, letting the hips drop in, getting more of a groin stretch, pelvic floor stretch here. The higher you build this up, the more you will feel this. So find it for yourself. Push down through the front foot and breathe. All right, with the hands either on the blocks or on the floor, tuck the back toe, lift the back knee. We're going to pivot over to the left, wide-legged fold for some skandhasana. So a little side to side, bend one knee and then the other. A lot or a little is up to you and your knees. Shift it side to side, no big deal. Okay, take your time. Come through wide leg and fold. And then pivot back to the top of the mat. Step it forward, forward bend. Ground your feet, inhale, half lift. Exhale and fold. Root down, rise to stand. Take a big inhale, reach up. Let's keep moving. Exhale, bend, hinge, fold back to earth. Half lift on the inhale, open the heart up. Right leg steps to lunge as you exhale. Nice long step, setting up for twist. So bearing weight in the front foot, root it down and twist high, left arm high, deep breath. Make sure your foot is grounding, even the big toe as you really twist through the top arm. Runner's lunge stretch. Take the hand down, take the back knee down. Shift it back. So driving the left hip really far back as you drive the left thigh deep into the hip and bow over your extended leg. Think face to shin. Deep breath. Focus your breath where you feel it most. Slowly shift out of this. 
Taking the left in the other direction now. So walk your front foot further forward, giving you more space without overbending the knee. And then explore the pelvic floor here. Let the hips drop in heavy. Find that sweet spot of stretch for yourself. And then start to walk up, lifting your chest up more to find your version of this. Front foot is still rooting down. Press it down and feel a little more intensity that way. Breathe. Okay, we're going to exit. Tuck the back toes. Lift the back knee. Wide legged fold. Walk it over to the side. And here, finding your feet lined up, maybe using your blocks or not. We're going to start with long spine. Lean forward into the toes, lengthen the spine. And we twist. Let's go right hand down, left hand high. Twisting through the chest, the upper spine. Hips stay natural. Deep breath. And then gently release. And build the twist on the other side now. Rolling through the upper spine. Release, hands down. From here, we're going to come into heels in, toes out. So I like blocks here. You can totally reach through the floor. You're going to bend to the knees, sit it down, and start with a little side to side. Coming into goddess, let's build it up. Take the hands to the thighs and sit down. So leaning forward to begin helps, and I'm really bracing using my arms, pushing down into my legs. And I'll lift your chest up, your face up, trying to flatten out your back onto an imaginary wall. You can always sun down a real wall too. Push into your toes, sit down, push down, get that deep hip stretch, pelvic floor stretch. And then rise all the way up. Bring the feet parallel, pointing in the same direction as your shoulders. And then we're going to take warrior two. Let's start with the right leg. Turn the right toes out. Bend the right knee. And you want to still be able to see your big toe. Feel free to make adjustments with the back foot. Find a nice comfortable position so you can settle into your legs. Allow your hips to roll open. Big warrior two arms. Spread your wings wide. Stretch out. Look forward. Deep breath. Peaceful warrior. Legs stay the same. Just tip the arms and stretch the front bottom. Okay, let's add a little more to this. Bend the top elbow. Pat yourself on the back. Well done. And then reach up. Grab the elbow. And bring it back. Lean back. Deeper stretch. You should keep sitting into your legs. Gently release the arms. And we're simply going to flip to the other side. So switch out the feet. Bend the left knee so you can see your big toe still. Warrior two, big into the shape. Settle into your legs, allowing the hips to roll open. Peaceful warrior, tip the arms and feel the side body stretch as you lift up. Deepening if you'd like. Bend the top elbow. Pat yourself on the back. Grab the elbow and pull back. Lean back. Go back. Deep breath. Take your time to release. Warrior two. Bend the shape. And then from here, we're just going to cartwheel all the way down to the floor, plant the hands, stepping back into a high push-up. Inhale, grow long and lower. Give the hips a little shake, loosen them up. Come 
play with our upward facing dog. So if that sounds like a little too intense today, take Sphinx Pose instead. And you can always build your Sphinx Pose into upward facing dog. So let's start there actually. Come into Sphinx Pose, that big archy back, pelvis heavy. And then play with pushing the hands down, lifting the elbows up. Not the shoulders, just the elbows. If that goes well, walk your hands underneath you. Tuck your toes under. You're going to slide your hips. So pick your hips up, slide them forward to your hands. And roll your chest up out of this. To exit, push the knees down. Come through tabletop. And find your down dog variation. Walking forward to the top of the mat, take your time forward fold. We're going to add a stretch here in forward fold. So maybe using the blocks to help the earth be a little closer to you. Start by crossing your right ankle in front of your left. Try to be the, bring the pinky toes together, the size of the feet, as close as you can. Bend into the knees as you push down into the feet and fold deeper. Okay, nice deep fold. Feet rooted. Focus on pushing the big toes down. And then walk your hands to the right, to the little side curve to the right. Keep pushing down through the big toes. Bending the knees, Martha, to give you more stretch. And then slow, come back to center. Keep the legs as they are. Just take the body the other way, a little curve in the softer direction. down to a downhill skier for a moment. Sit it down and fold it forward for a little while. Lift the face. And then back to forward. Let's take that stretch on the other side. Cross the left ankle in front of the right. Pinky toes working toward one another. Bend the knees and really push into the big toes. Feel that energy move through the hips. Let's start with our curve to the left. Take your time, curve left. Keep pushing the feet down and stretch. Remember, more bend in the knees and give you more stretch. Keep folding it, curve to the side. Keep pushing your big toes down, another breath or two. Now let's slow walk through center and simply go the other way with your body, a little curve. And back to center. Uncross the feet, root your legs down and rise to stand. Big inhale up, maybe a little back. And hands to heart, namaskar. Let's just pause here in simple standing mountain and close the eyes. Take three centering breaths. Deep forward fold or squat, whatever is more accessible to you. So you can take that deep forward fold where you bend your knees a lot and pull yourself into your legs. Or maybe you're ready to sink it down deep into the hips, kind of into that full squat. 
really kind of depends on the knees and what they're willing to do. If you're almost there, give yourself a little support, make it a little easier on the body so it's more willing to get into this shape by sitting up on a prop or something. All right. I find the most stretch here when I get low and walk the hands forward. You might feel more stretch by sitting up tall. Your choice. Deep, deep forward fold, pulling your face in towards your shins or getting low into your squat. Yogi's choice, be kind to your knees and take three deep breaths. Okay, meeting in tabletop all fours. We're going to work modified pigeon pose. So if you're using blocks, have them up at the top of the mat. And remember, you can roll onto your back and do this exact same thing, just taking gravity and body weight out of your knees. From the tabletop, walk your knees back. Let's start with the left knee. Slide the left knee straight forward out of the hip. Left thumb sits on the left heel. Nice and square, hips are level. See if maybe you can slide that back knee back some more. We're going to work on getting lifted and tall here. So here's where I like the blocks actually give you more intensity, more stretch. Walk your hands underneath you as best you can and stretch up really tall here. Deep breath. forward. We're simply going to switch out the legs, do the other side, bring that front knee back, slide the right knee straight forward out of the hip, right hip on right heel. See, maybe you can work the back leg back a little further. And then building your lift, getting tall here, walk your hands back, build yourself up as much as you like, and look up. Three or four deep breaths. Focus on your breathing. Send it where you need it most. Release. Walk the hands forward. We're going to make our way to our back next. So having your props to your body, just roll over to the side and swing that back leg around and the legs out in front of you. And like from earlier, however you like, roll down to your back. So maybe you're gonna rock and roll front to back a few times, roll straight down or go from both pose, it's all good. Take your time, come on to the back. And grab the strap. If you don't have a strap, that's okay. Grab behind the thigh instead. Let's start with the left leg. Strap loops around the ball of the left foot, if you're using it, left leg really straight out of the hip. So don't try to bring the leg towards you. We're not doing that just yet. Just bring the leg straight out of the hip, nice 90 degree angle. Right leg straight or bent, whatever suits you better. If you have a big old gap between your right thigh and the floor, bend the knee up instead. That'll work better for you. Check my back after. All right. Nice straight leg, pulling down the strap a little bit, not with the shoulders, but by bending the elbows and using the arms. Push through the heel. And then take the strap in the right hand. So pulling down in the strap so your leg still feels connected in your hip. Let the leg cross over to the right side, pushing out into the strap as you pull back for some resistance. Find a nice deep stretch here for a few breaths. to exit this. First, bend the knee, then take the foot up to the sky, a little half happy baby. And just take a moment, 
pull down here, get the knee in close to the side of the body. Now strap in the left hand, take your right hand to your right hip. Wanting to keep the hips level, keep the right hip down, or stretch the left leg out to the side. Push your right hip down. Okay, back through half happy baby. Bend the knee, foot to sky, and switch out the legs. Take the other leg up in the strap. Taking your time to get the leg nice and straight out of your hip. Pull down into the strap a little bit. Using your bicep strength, relax your shoulders. And then feeling the leg connected in the hip socket, let the leg cross over to the left. Pulling back into the strap as your foot reaches out into it. Deep breath. Half happy baby, bend the knee, take the foot up to the sky, and pull down. With the strap in the right hand, take your left hand to your left hip and push it down. Keeping the hips level, open your right leg over to the right. Push your left hip down. Bend the knee, half happy baby. Good, and release the leg, release the strap. Shake the legs out. Maybe take a big stretch or hug the knees to the chest. Let's build bridge or supported bridge, Yogi's choice. I love supported bridge, it's a pelvis reset. They both build or set up the same way. Feet close to your body and about eight inches apart. Tuck the shoulders underneath you a lot. And open up the throat, chin away from your chest. Plug down into your feet, to your toes, as you roll your tailbone long, lift the hips up to a bridge shape. I'm gonna slide the block underneath my hips so the tailbone hangs off the bottom edge, and rest the hips there. You're welcome to hold the bridge. Maybe you're gonna go in and out. Maybe you wanna build this up with two blocks. It's all good. If you can, bend the elbows, kind of driving the backs of the arms into the earth more. Open up the throat. Three or four more breaths to get your ridge variation. down to earth. Get the knees a little rock side to side. Let's build a twist next. Any version of twist that you like, make it yours. Let's start to the right side. A few deep breaths.
Gently take it up and to the other side. Several deep breaths here. Try to relax. Slowly release and take some time to move or stretch however you like before final resting. Maybe a big good morning stretch or another quick twist, happy baby, whatever you'd like to do, whatever your body's asking for. And take some time and give your body some attention. Ready to rest. Work out all the kinks you're gonna work out. Find your comfortable spot. Take your time to settle into it. Wanting to be comfortable. Trying to rest in stillness. Set yourself up to relax and rest. Close down your eyes. And simply follow along with the sound of my voice. Let the environment around you be just that, the environment around you. As you commit yourself to resting, as if you were going to sleep for the night. Start by softening all the spaces between you and the earth. The back of the neck, space between the shoulders, the mid back, space behind the knees and ankles. Feel yourself supported by the earth. Feel all the parts of your body that are touching the neck. Feeling the earth hold you. Taking a deeper breath in all the way. Fill up to the very top. Pause there. And gently let all the breath spill out. Releasing any control you have over the breath. Let it be spontaneous and free. As you commit yourself to resting, giving your mind this time to be still, meaning not engaging in thought. Thoughts will always happen. That is our brain's job. We don't have to fill out every thought. We don't have to connect to it. Let it float by. It will come back later. Observe your breath. Keep softening, surrendering into the earth's support.
take a moment and notice how you feel. Present in the space, hearing the sounds, feeling the sensations. Reconnect with your breath. Bring some gentle motion to the body, little fingers, toes. Gradually roll it off to the side. Taking your time to press up into a seated position. Pausing and seated to recenter. Enjoy these last few sweet moments of your practice. Sealing our time here by bringing the hands together at the heart center and bowing the chin. Honoring our inner teacher, our higher self. And then tapping the fingers to the third eye, signifying peaceful thoughts. And then the mouth, peaceful words. And finally, the heart center, peaceful actions. Thank you for joining and practicing with me today. The light in me are so light in you. Or namaste. Thanks so much for practicing with me. I hope you have a nice Monday. Got lots of hip work today. Sometimes that can be a sticky area, so a little extra water.